In the last lesson, we were looking at corresponding alternate and co-interior angles. I like to think of them as fangles, zangles, and kangles. In other words, I'm looking for those letters somewhere in the image, and that will help me to identify the angles. Now, this first picture here, I have corresponding angles. And if you can see, I've got an upside down letter F. Now, if I know one of the angles, let's say this one here is 70 degrees, I therefore know that the corresponding angle is also 70 degrees. Those angles are equal. Looking at the next image, I have alternate angles. And here I have my letter Z. There it is. Now, again, if I know one of those angles, let's say that this one here is 60 degrees, then the other angle over here, the alternate angle, is also 60 degrees. Those angles are equal. Now, this third diagram here, these are co-interior angles. And hopefully you can see the letter C right here. Now, with co-interior angles, the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. So if I know that this angle here is 120 degrees, then this smaller angle must be 60 degrees. Now, there is a special case with co-interior angles, and I'll just draw it here. So I'll draw one line here. I'll draw a second line here, parallel line. I'll just indicate that they are parallel. And then I'll draw my transversal. Now that transversal is at an angle, but what if I draw a transversal which is perpendicular to the parallel lines? In this case here, these two angles are both right angles. So in this special case, the co-interior angles are equal. They're both 90 degrees. Now with any image like this, once I have a set of parallel lines and a transversal, and I know one of the angles, I can work at every other angle in that diagram. Let me give you an example. I'll just draw one line here. I'll draw a parallel line here. I'll indicate they are parallel with the arrow, and I'll draw a transversal. Let's say this angle here is 60 degrees. So as I said, once I know one angle, I can work at every other angle in this diagram. So let's take this angle here. Well, its corresponding angle would be this one here. And therefore, that angle must be 60 degrees. Now, once I have that angle, I know that this angle and this angle are alternate angles or zangles. And therefore, that angle must be 60 degrees. Now down here, this one and this one are co-interior or C angles, and they must add up to 180 degrees. And therefore this angle must be 120 degrees. And obviously once I've got that angle, I can work at this angle again, because there are alternate angles, and therefore that one must be 120 degrees. So 120 degrees. So as you can see, it's fairly easy to work at all of these angles. And hopefully you can see that you can work at the other missing angles. So this angle here, this angle here, and this angle here should be fairly obvious how you work at those angles.